So thank you for joining me in part four of this uh, video series, easy way to make Neapolitan pizza from start to finish. In um, part one we mixed the ingredients to make the dough, in part two we kneaded the dough to build up some strength um, to make sure the dough can, can last the long prove that we're giving it. Um, in step three I showed you um, the window pane test which is a great way to tell if we've done a good job of kneading to uh, make sure our dough is strong enough for the long prove. Um, and then we've proved it for around 18 hours and I'm just coming back to it now and we're going to shape it up now into dough balls ready to make our pizzas and I recommend shaping it up at this stage maybe four to six hours before you want to make your pizza because um, if we shape it into to, um, dough balls too early like at the very start of the proof what we would find is 20 hours later or 22 hours later we come back to the dough and it's it's not held its shape very well it's lost its shape it's lost its strength and then it's not in a good uh, it's a good point to make pizza with it so I find, especially when doing a long prove, it's best to leave the shape until about four to six hours um, before we're gonna, gonna make the pizza. So I'm just gonna turn it out of the bowl. We're not using any flour, any water for this um, because we don't want to change this dough in any way. We've got the dough to where we want it, so there's no need to use any flour or water. It may stick to our hands a little bit, but we should be fine. You know, it's a fairly dry dough, um, so we should be able to work with it fine without any flour or water. Now for proving it in, we'll give it a final prove after the shaping. Um, and that's just to make sure that any air that we knock out of it in the shaping we can let it uh, come back again, let it prove again and also to let the dough relax after shaping as well. Um, so a box like this I can highly recommend. This is like a pizza box you can get online. Pretty inexpensive and perfect. You can prove up to like 9 pizzas, 12 pizzas in this um, at a time. And the good thing about using a square box is you've been able to use one of these. Um, it's just like a DIY wall scraper and this is great for getting your dough balls out of the box once they've actually finished proving. So if you haven't got one of these just use a one of these kind of Tupperware boxes that you'll have at home somewhere lying around. Uh, and as I say the great thing is that once we're ready to actually make the pizza we can get this scraper down the side to free it out and then to get it out. Because if we use a bowl, say a lot of people are using a bowl, but the trouble is then you can't get the, you know a scraper down the edge to get to get the dough ball out so you end up having to use your hand and it's very difficult to get uh, the dough out of the bowl without degassing it. We want to keep as much air in as possible, so square container is ideal. So if you haven't got one of these pizza boxes, just a Tupperware box that you have at home, it's fine. Also, by using a lid on one of these boxes, it saves us from uh, wasting cling film or plastic bags or whatever else. It creates a nice seal as well, so our dough doesn't dry out. So I've got weighing scales ready for weighing out our dough. So I'm just going to turn out the dough, just getting my hands around the side. Now I'm trying not to degas this as much as possible, but we will do it. It will happen to some extent. But it's not a big deal because we're going to let it prove again at this stage. I'm just going to turn it into there for now. And then we can use this or we can just use straight onto the scale to weigh out our dough. So I find the easiest way first off is really just to split it into the size dough balls we want and then I'll show you a few different ways to shape it up. So again there's, there's different ways you can do this but I just like to tear a bit off. I'm going to tear the scales first and then we're shooting for 250 grams for about a 10, 10 inch pizza. And I'm just guessing there we're at 2 to 8 and then you can just pick bits of dough off until we get 246 so I'm happy with that. And it doesn't matter if you whether you're exact or not. And again, 227, and it doesn't really matter on the shape at this stage. We're going to shape it in a minute. So I'm just tearing off bits of dough there. We're at 230, 247. And with this recipe, I've made a little bit extra dough. So we might go slightly over with this one, 276. So I'm going to make this about 250. And then with the rest of the dough, I'm just going to put it back on the others. So there we go, so they're not exact, they're all about 250, give or take a couple of grams. You can have a look in the box. And we've not done any shaping with them yet, but we know these are at the right size that we want. So now I'll show you a few different ways of doing it. The easiest way is to probably do it on the side. And all I'm going to do is fold, take a, an edge of the dough, and then fold it into the middle, like this. And we're, again, we're trying to build up some strength here as we shape this. And then I'm going to turn the dough and I'm going to grab this corner, stretch a little bit, then into the middle. And I'm going to grab this corner, 
into the middle. And then just keep turning the dowel like this. We're not overworking it. We're not trying to create a really tight stretch. Just so it's got a nice shape to it. So then this will be the bottom of our dough. We'll turn it over. And there you can see we've kind of got a dough shape now. And then just to finish it off to get a little bit more tightness, we're just using our fingers like that on the side just to make it into a nice dough shape. And that's it really. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's a nice dough ball. I'll put this in a box. I'll just give it a bit of space around it. But the sides of this box are going to help it so that as it relaxes and proves it's going to spread out of it, these uh, edges are going to help uh, kind of help it keep its shape a little bit. So that was one way of doing it. The other way is you can tuck it under with your, your fingers like that and then squeeze it. This is quite a nice way of doing it because you can just do it in your hands and it's quicker like that. And that's another good dough ball. Put that one in there. So again, I'll show you this method again. Just in our hands. And then if you want to get it extra tight, and this is especially true with a wet dough, it doesn't matter as much with this one, but you can hold your fingers like this and then squeeze it through your fingers. And then turn the bottom. That gives us a nice tight shape. Again, just space these out nicely. And again, it doesn't really matter the exact way you do it. All we're trying to do is just build up quite a tight dough ball. We don't want to build, do it so tight that the dough is ripping, but we want it to be nice and tight so we've got some good structure in that dough ball, and that's going to help it keep its shape a little bit as it proves. There you go, see those in the box, but we're going to leave these now for about six hours, so when we come back to them, you see they'll have spread out a lot. Um, but by doing the shape and it just... Obviously, it sets the round shape that we're going to use for our pizza, um, and then it also gives it some strength for the final proof. So I'm just going to cover it up now, leave it at room temperature for about six hours. <laughs> 